So this is not for me din Malacañang. This is what project or, is this? Oh. Ang babae na wala sa sarili. Oh, you you made this film when? Hindi <laughs> ko na maalala. <laughs> so but kasi yan, di ba para maalala ko yung schedule mo from the lock-in. Sunod-sunod yung pag-tape nyo ng Made in Malacanang, eh, eh, right? Like from when July hit, it was all about that. Yes, um, so I'm pretty sure I shot this in June. Oh, okay. Or, Quite new. Mm-hmm. Siguro okay. June, just before May in Malacanang. Okay, so how was it? How, I mean, can you tell me what Naalala mo ba yung role mo rito? Kasi I'm sure, <laughs> di ba pag nag-made in Malacanang ka with all that NDA, all that uh, things that you discover, parang, di ba, parang uh, ang hirap, parang you're in it. Kung baga immersed ka, di ba? Like, yes. Oo. Uh, yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth, MJ. But yeah, of course, um, I'm gonna, I have to recall it. So I played Lawrence. Um mm-hmm. Uh, this is another role that I've, I've, one of the roles that I've played, it's, it's like, um, my role I played in, uh, my movie with AJ Raval, na, uh, Death of a Girlfriend by Yam Naranas. Mm-hmm, Twisted mm-hmm. yung character. Um, he, his intentions for Albina, so this, uh, Ang Babay Nung Awara Strile is a classic, it's an old film na remake lang namin to. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Uh, our, my character was in the original one um, and manliligaw ako ni Albina. Uh, I'm her current boyfriend. She says yes to me. And um, you see my, my character is a really nice guy uh, but then uh, as time passes, actually my, my first scene palang with her naman, I'm very pushy to like to take her home and um, mm-hmm. substances while uh, fornicating so you know na parang may dark side yung character ko. And then okay. um only at the end it shows na good na ko sa lahat. Ah, hindi lang sa iba, isang babae pero sa may mga pattern ka. Ba. Yeah, so I play a very dark character, but little does my dark character know na yung naka, nakatapat niya is ang isang babae na wala sa sarili na baliw din. Oh my gosh. So, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it makes so, it interesting. Yes, so he messed up. He messed up real bad. Who, who's your ano, leading lady for this one? Uh, Ayana Misol. Okay. Uh, you've worked with Ayana na before, right? Pero hindi, hindi siya yung partner mo. Mm, no. Um, dapat, dapat makakatrabaho ko siya uh, ulit in the next movie I'm locking in, which is next Monday. Mm-hmm. But napalitan ulit yung cast. So, hindi mm-hmm. pa. This oh. is my first time working. Okay. Yes. Wait, so next Monday, you're gonna be locked in. Nagda-lock in, nagda-lock in pa pala. Yes. If it's out of town, it's locked in. If it's within okay. the metro, let go home. Okay, so that's how it goes nowadays. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, but Maiden Malacanang is showing in August. So, you're done? You guys are done already? <sighs> wow. I just had the cast. That's nice. Buti na kahinga ka. Para sa'yo mo, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Buti na kahinga ka with all that. And soon enough, I know there's gonna be two red carpets. Are you ready for that? Because a lot of people are gonna be, of course, covering here in Lawag. Um, yeah, I'm I'm so excited for it, actually. So but I'm excited for it. I, I, I heard that um President BBM right now. I uh, got COVID, which is horrible news. Um, my prayers to, his, to him and his family, if ever um, any of them get to watch this. I hope he's okay, of course. Um, we were set to meet him. Uh, obviously, that's not going to push through because his health must come first. Um, siyang ibang mas import- important things to do, of course, for the country. Mm-hmm. So completely understand that. But um, I'm excited and was excited to be able to meet him along, as long as... Uh, Along with the rest of you know his family, his, his mm-hmm. children, and Sen Aimi. Sen Aimi visits the set. Uh, namin siya nakilala. But yeah, uh, the press con is going to be huge. Um, the block screenings, um, the mall shows. They've sent me the whole <laughs> list of I the schedule. Really. And, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, oh. And Parang wild. The, yes. And um, after, say, right after I, I enter this lock in on Monday, the next day when it ends, I enter a different lock in. And nagpapatong lahat ng sked ng Made in Malacanang. So sabi ko, ah, paano, paano to? Paano gagawin yun? 
Well, that's where Boss Beck and Tito Jun comes in. So, sila na po bahala. That's nice. Yeah. But uh, just to wrap it up, like, how how was it working with your dad? Finally! Kung baga tapos na, <gasps> di ba? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, That's that's the best word uh, to describe it. It was amazing. Because every single sentence, every single word that was na, na binitaw namin, damang-dama. And... It was beautifully written, of course, by the one and only Derek Daryl Yap. It's beautifully directed. Um, every every single day, every single moment, everyone was bringing their A game. It was always take one. Um, I'm gonna. Wow. I hope I hope he doesn't get mad at me for mm-hmm. you know divulging too much. Mm-hmm. But um, Derek's attack with this film is um, long takes. Oo nga, yung nakita isang ko may isang abang. six minute daw kay Cesar Montano. Oh, wala yung six minutes. Wala 20 ba? minutes. Bakit no way. 20 minutes. Pero yeah. siya ang shinare niya. Naku, nag-overshare ka. Yung shinare niya, six minutes daw, tumulo na yung luha nila. Parang sabi nila, oh my God, nagawa ng one take. So yung isa, 20 minutes, talagang dalang-dala kayo. E di madadalian sa editing si Direk Daril, kaya pala mahahabol ng August to, kasi puro one take kayo. Yeah, um... I don't know about the editing kasi I know manami pa silang manami mga shots na hindi kasama mga artista. So may, may narrating pa if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Again, I don't want to over over no, I don't want to mm-hmm. divulge too much. Mm-hmm. But and, it was an uh, incredible experience. I thought you were going to be there. You said you were going to be there. I was there. But but na ano, na cancel after ko mag live. Yeah, it, th- th- there was technical issues. I had I but I saw Ella. I saw Ella. And yeah, but I I couldn't say what I what else I saw kasi nga may NDA kayo. <laughs> ba? Okay. Hindi pwede, hindi pwede i-share. But I was there, I was there. Mm-hmm. Um hindi ko na kayo ginulo. I just got a couple of shots of you guys um in the family room. Si Christine yung nakita ko, si Christine, si Ella. And speaking of that, how do you how do you console one another? Lalo na syempre nag-viral si Ella. Tapos nun, mm-hmm. uh, anything you do, any step and anything you post Ano to? Parang controversial. Well, um, what can I say without dragging myself into the mm-hmm. controversy? Uh, parang naman hindi ako nagkulang sa controversy these past few years, no? So, okay. I just told Ella what I I practice or what I tell myself or what I think whenever in the heat of Chismis and everyone talking about you. So it was just the same, same old lines that you know my my father passed down to me and people my colleague, people in, in the same industry passed down. My mom passes down to me. Um, I thought, you know, no one should ever be in a situation that you get that hurt from what other people are saying. That umi iyak masha, she was crying, she was affected. So of course we were all, I don't know, helping her and then telling her, you know, um, how to deal with the situation. Or like how to feel better, how to look at it better, or look at the brighter side of things. And, uh, syempre, hindi pa rin ma-apekto, hindi pa rin ma- ma- magbabago na na-apekto siya. So, we, we did our best. And Ella was, at the end, Ella was fine. She did great. She did great in the movie. So, that's what's important, diba? Yun naman yung importante dun. And learning curve, I'm, I'm sure. Um, of course, I can't help but, you know, you know, empathy call for her and uh, she's going she had to go through that during such an uh, an important taping shooting um sana hindi hindi man kailangan yung added stress but you know it was there it was present but okay naman we did we direct dallas is happy and and if he's happy we're all happy i'm happy <laughs> i got to work with my dad and we we made an amazing movie so they, ko, may ano kay may advantage ka kasi sobrang stars na yung parents mo that when you when you went through the a fair share of controversy yourself grab your words of wisdom that you shared Ella that you just shared right now right i mean it takes it takes Rufa Gutierrez siguro to to shrug those things away i mean kung baga ganun ka uh, lalim na yung natahak sa career you you're fairly you're fairly young not naman you're not a newbie but you're young di ba so parang for you not to be affected is wow wow nice um you know what <laughs> i'm going to throw this in there i i watched the tony talks of um pbbm uh over 20 times and there's this one line that really stuck with me and he said if you don't want you know these controversies you should have never entered 
um, public life, like being an artista uh, or being uh, uh, or being um, someone who uh, in politics. And uh, if you're hearing these controversies or these lies, don't worry, because you have the upper hand. You know the truth. And that's what Tony asked. So what's the truth? It's exactly not what you're saying. So I love that line that, that PBBM said, and it really stuck with me. It resonated with me. So I go, oh, nga naman. I can't get mad at these people because they can Judging always you. have something to say about me. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I'm working as an artista. So it makes sense naman that everyone's uh, obligated naman. Everyone deserves to have an opinion. I'm not so sure if any, everyone should always voice their opinion, but everyone is entitled to an, opi- an opinion. Now, if, you're, if their opinion is, is bad about me, then what can I do about it, right? Tamanamansi president. Now, it doesn't matter if they're spouting lies and you let them spout lies. Mm-hmm. You can't do anything. Of course, you signed an NDA, pero parang excited ka na ba na malaman yung story na na inano nyo, na na inak nyo in ano in Bidin Malacanang because everyone's been saying parang ano ba to, dark comedy ba to, uh, real life ba to. Uh, they've been comparing it already teaser pa lang. And the teaser in less than an a day, less than half a day, reached a million views. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty wild. It's amazing. Um, well, what can I say? Uh, we, we're not rewriting history now with this movie. We're just simply like, like, we're simply showcasing what happened within the the household of Malacanang the last 72 hours and the dynamics of the family in those last 72, 72 hours, which is really just telling another side of the story that's already there. We're not, mm-hmm. you know, not revising anything, not making any, like coming up with any new things and to, to renew history per se. Nagulat ka rin ba? Oh, nagulat ka rin ba? Sorry to cut you there. Ah. Yeah, no, that's no worries. Um, yes. Nagulat ka ba nung binasa I... mo yung script? Hindi <laughs> nangyari ba to? Kasi pa tayo mm. buhay nun. Ako, post-86 din ako eh. And hindi lang yun. I wasn't, I was born in the Philippines. I didn't grow up here. So no. I know close to very little of Philippine Uh-oh. history. And then when I moved here, I, I was, it was past first year high school na. So wala na yung, um, yung subject of Philippine history masyado, no? Only a little bit. So learning about, being on the set pa lang, being surrounded by these people and my castmates, syempre mag-uusap-usap kami. Um, I would ask also, What's the real story behind this? Ano talaga yung nangyari dito? So, marami rin ako nalaman on the set, parang behind the camera, of course. And doon ako na-shock na, oh, okay, ganun pala yung nangyari. Uh, it's, it's humbling, but at the same time, parang ang sarap pala na when you, you know, knowledge is power. So knowing mm-hmm. these things, parang, oh, okay, that's the reason why pala these certain things happen. And that's the reason why pala, you know, these people are angry and these people support and these people don't know. They're unsure. So, mas lumawak yung, yung knowledge ko about Philippine history because of this movie. And I'm, I'm happy for that. Mm-hmm. Grabe. Congratulations. But this one that you're promoting is coming out. Kailan to? Balik tayo si po promote mo ng June. Kailan siya e-ere? Um, ang babae nung wala sa sarili ay lalabas ng July 15, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Thank so, you I think yet. by the time this mm-hmm. it's it's showing already. Mm-hmm. Tama. July 15, hindi, i-ere na to. Wow. Oh, oh. Oo, okay. yeah. Oh, hindi ako nag-usap tungkol sa love life mo, ha? Uh, Nakikita yes, naman MJ, namin eh. Me, I wouldn't say anything either <laughs> except without, without love life. Wow. At least, alam mo, and just enjoy it. I just saw your post. You were like in the clinic. Kung baga, nagpapapogi mm-hmm. lalo. Nagpapalaki ng katawan. Just do, just enjoy. True. That's what I'm doing. 